Italians. <laughs> and action. Listen. All right. How do you play that bridge? Because that thing's insane. No one can destroy the metal. The metal will strike you down with a vicious blow. I know it was your part, and it was a completely separate section of the song. And it was a riff that you had laying around for quite a few years. And we needed a bridge. And by gum, if you just didn't rip, whip this out. It was whipped. It it whipped was it out. Just, What'd uh, you whip out for us? It, it was this thing here. Beautiful. And then it, it happened to be in the same key? It was in, yeah, it was in the same key. We can destroy the metal. The metal will strike you down with a vicious blow. We are the vanquished foes of the metal. We tried to win for why we do not know. Sha! So after the after that bridge comes what part? What were you gonna well, say? Well, I was just gonna say I'll I'll slow down the bridge oh. for you, and you yep. can see that the picking pattern is. I don't really know what it is. It's just something that I kind of do, and I, I don't really know if there's a name for it or anything. But slowly, and the chords are it's it's like an E minor chord, like you'd play an E minor up here, except you take the bar off, so you get so you get the the in between strings kind of ringing freely. And it's like that for every chord down. So it'd be like an E minor, a D7 shape, but without the bar. C7 shape, but without the bar. And then there's a, like a B, B minor 7 without the bar, A minor 7, B minor 7, to an E minor. But when you play your E minor and drop D, you got to hit that. You got to make sure you get that low, uh, low E on there because you're in drop D. So. OK, so it looks like this. Nice button. It is a button. That kind of ends the riff. Well, we loved it. And by gum, if we didn't throw it right in the song, and it why, worked. my God, you've been paying for for drinks ever since. <laughs> why? <laughs> write a riff, get a fifth. <laughs> <laughs> write a word, get a third. Write a riff, get a fifth. God, that's a new yeah, one. It is. <laughs> what, is what are we referring to, John? Uh, for the people at home. Publishing. Yeah. yeah. Do a song, songwriting publishing credit is uh, the way that royalties are paid yeah. for uh, music. And since music is all digital trash that's given away for free, the only money to be made is through writing the songs and performing live. Yeah. Little and little. the licensing of those songs yeah. to video games. Musicians trying to make it, be sure you write your own songs and hold on to the publishing because uh, that's your only hope. But a lot of, I, mean, I think I heard like a lot of guys these days who are signing uh, like little indie deals and stuff. Yeah. They get their publishing swooped up immediately. Oh, really? It's, See? Yeah. Why? Because that's where the dough is. Yeah. The labels take the publishing because they know they're never going to recoup on like 90% of the bands. That's that why sign. we at Tenacious D kept all our publishing. And as you can see, I put it all into my wardrobe. What? <laughs> You're looking at my new socks? Oh, yeah. Glad you brought that up. These are a new sock line I'm putting out with uh, my friends at Fretchwell. They're the new camel toe, uh, big toe separated sock. And uh, as you can see, the big toe is pre-separated and has its own slot. And that makes it easier to wear your, what do they call these? Flip flops. They're flip flops, yeah. Flip flops, which I wear, of course. And, and I just want to say thank you, Fretchwell. And thank you, America, for embracing me and my crazy fixation with socks and sandals. Anyway, where were we? All right. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so I had to. I just, I just got them today. These are the prototype, and I'm so in love with them. I just had to show them off. Guitar. 